dear all i would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering in this session i am going to give a brief introduction on complex numbers which will be really helpful for various analysis of electrical engineering if you wanted to study an ac parallel circuit definitely you should know how to operate complex numbers so let us deal with uh, some basics of complex number everybody know that impedance is denoted by the letter z it is a sum total of resistance offered by the components in ac network that is called impedance the unit of impedance will be ohm only so let us come to the point the impedance can be represented by a complex number so impedance is given by r plus j into x so you can use either j or you can able to use i j or i both are complex operator okay so we can say that the impedance comprises of both real part and imaginary part z can be denoted by the letter z is equal to r plus j into x here what is r r is nothing but resistor where x is known as reactance suppose if the circuit is belong to inductive circuit then it is known as inductive reactance in case it's a capacitive circuit then we call it as capacitive reactance by the way x is known as reactance the unit of reactance is also in terms of ohm itself moving on to the discussion suppose as i told you that if the circuit is purely inductive then we call it as inductive reactance so inductive reactance can be written as uh, xl is equal to j into l omega where omega is the angular frequency and l is the value of inductance or else you can write j into 2 pi fl suppose if the circuit is capacitive circuit the, therefore we can call the reactance is capacitive reactance it can be written as 1 by j omega c so 1 by j into 2 pi fc here j is a complex operator so you can able to write either j or i i already repeated suppose if the circuit is r circuit how can you calculate the impedance that is equal to r plus j into xl clear if it is a rc network then we can write z is equal to r minus j xc now you may ask me one question why it is negative here yeah i have the answer for that remember always 1 by j is is nothing but minus j 1 by j or 1 by i is equal to minus j by the way let us see the particular equation look at this so if you talk about this particular equation so please concentrate here x is equal to 1 by j omega c am i right so 1 by j means what minus j so i can write 1 by j is equal to minus j omega into c so that is why it has come negative i hope you are getting my point so thereby we can write so rc circuit z is equal to r minus j x c so these concept you should know when you are anal when you are doing the analysis of ac parallel circuit so we can perform the complex number into different operation whenever you are solving the numerical example these problems are required these analysis are uh, badly required so complex number can be represented into two manner one is rectangular form another one is called a polar form rectangular form usually represented by a plus ib a plus ib or jb anything is fine okay so at least one you can study properly uh, if i talk about polar form we write it as r angle theta what is r r is nothing but magnitude and uh, or modulus value or theta is the angle so this concept you should know for example 3 plus 4j it's in rectangular form where 5 angle 53.13 that is its polar form so like this you can able to mark so 3 will be x so whatever the things are in x axis that is 3 and whatever the distance which is applicable for y axis uh, that is 4 thereby we can able to write 3 plus 4j definitely you can able to convert rectangle into polar and vice versa let us come to our point which is required for electrical engineering you need to know the different operations of complex number such as addition subtraction multiplication and division addition you can able to do the real part you can able to add first then you can add the imaginary part look at the example 3 plus j 4 plus 4 plus j 5 3 plus 4 is 7 uh, 4j plus 5j means 9j or 9i anything is fine 
same way you can solve the subtraction also do the operation by real part and imaginary part separately so real part is 5 and 3 so 5 minus 3 is nothing but 1 so imaginary part is 4j and 3j 4j minus 3j means 1j or you can write 1 plus j or 1 plus i hope you understood when it comes to multiplication you may get a little bit of confusion so you may sub, sub, sometimes you may apply uh, current division formula or voltage division formula at that time these kind of operation comes into picture at that time what to do no worries 3 plus 4j into 4 plus 5j what is the first procedure the first procedure individual rectangular form should be converted into polar form by the way 3 plus 4j should be converted into polar form 5 angle 53.13 you can do it manually or you can use the cal calculator. I will explain both. One more important thing, 4 plus 5j. Look at this. I convert it into polar form. So, two polar form I got. Now, you please rewrite the polar form separately. See, 5 angle 53.13 into uh, 6 and 51.34. Now, this is in the form of R1 angle theta 1 into R2 angle theta 2. Now, do one thing. Anyway, magnitude you can directly multi multiply. No issues in that. There is no issue. R1 and R2 can be multiplied. That means 5 and 6.4 can be multiplied directly. But the angle theta 1 and theta 2, since it is a multiplication, theta 1 and theta should, should be added like this. I hope you are getting my point. Yes? Yeah. So, 5 into 6.4. That is no, no issue with that. But angle you have to add both. So, 53.13 plus 51.34. So, what could be the answer? Use, uh, do the calculation separately, then you can vary with me. So, 5 into 6.4 will be like this, 32.015. And the uh, angle will be added. So, I am getting 104.47. So, once you get in polar form, this is exactly polar form, 32.015 angle, uh, 104.47 is a polar form. If you want, you can convert into rectangular form by using Calci or by using in a manual manner. Both I will discuss. Now, one more important thing. This is also required for your electrical engineering. So, if I talk about the division 3 plus J4 by 4 plus J5, what you do? First of all, you have to convert into polar form. Rectangular form will be converted into polar form. 3 plus 4J means 5 angle 53.13 degree. Uh, 4 plus 5j means 66.4 angle 51.34 degree. So, R1 angle theta 1 divided by R2 angle theta 2. Do one thing. R1, angle, R1 and R2 can be divided directly. There is no confusion. Straight away please divide. And what about the theta? The angle theta 1 divided by angle theta 2 means theta 1 minus theta 2. Subtraction. Difference you have to mention. So, when, when it comes to the difference, you see. Uh, directly I can, as I told you that magnitude can be divided directly. 5 divided by 6.4 is how much? Please calculate it. 0.78125. Am I right or not? Please do verify. And regarding the angle. So, here you have to take the difference. In multiplication time, you are adding the angle. But in di division, whenever it, when it comes to division, you are subtracting. That point you have to keep in your mind. This is very important for your exam point. There are different problems will be asked in the examination. Now, how do you convert rectangular into polar conversion? A plus IB is rectangular form, real part is A, imaginary part is B. How to convert? Yeah. So, uh, A plus IB should be converted into R angle theta. Here, R is nothing but square root of A square plus B square. And also, theta will be tan inverse of B by A. So, this is the way how to convert into rectangular to polar form. And also, polar to rectangular, how to convert? R angle theta should be converted to A plus IB. A is nothing but See, uh, A you can able to write in terms of R. That means A is equal to R cos theta, B is equal to R sin theta. So, this point you have to remember. By the way, we can use in calculator also. Everybody please take the calculator. At least uh, I am using ESCDs. So, first of all you have to uh, press on, turn on the calculator, press shift. I need to convert rectangular to polar. So, use the operation. Shift plus fold, then 3 comma 4 then it is going to convert. If I want to convert polar to rectangular, what I have to do? Press shift, then plus, you have to use the REC, 5, 53.13. So, I can convert polar into rectangular. This is the way how, how to convert. 
rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular.